First, our northwestern western, a sort of Lancashire hodgepodge. Bootle Saddles. There was a man who had a dream, a goal he had to gain. On the prairie of his soul, he planned a town that bears this name. Apache Wells, Apache Wells. From the Black Hills to the coast, it's the place that has the most. It's the rootin'est, tootin'est, shootin'est town that you ever saw. Board up, Cyril. Sorry, Percy. Right this way for the Apache Well stage. Howdy, stranger. Looking for the Apache Well stage? You, Mr. James. Percy James. Folks round hereabouts call me Jesse. <laughs> Cyril, Clewellyn Parry Jones. Butch to my friends. Jim Turnbull. Mighty proud to know anyone who's ridden with the Rochdale Rough Riders. Am I your only passenger? No. There's one more to come. Hank Price. Hank Price? The fastest gun in Manchester. <laughs> like greased lightning on the draw. A living legend from Clenechley to Land's End. There he is. The Withenshaw kid. <laughs> I'd never heard of Apache Wells until I read your advert in Gunslinger Monthly. Now you'd be one of the first to see ever its delight. Are the kid now your only guests, then? Oh, no, we're almost full, and we, Jesse? Aye. We had hundreds of inquiries just from that one advert. The wife thought I'd gone plum loco when I suggested selling the boarding house and building a whole western town. How long have you been open? What time's it? Uh, five to four. Almost four hours. <laughs> Sets the best table in the West, as my missus. Betty, are all those cruets laid out? Yes, ma. Serve the eggs? Yes, ma. Salad cream. Are you sure they used to have salad cream in the Old West? How could they eat salad without it? <laughs> I never saw nobody eat salad in Bonanza. Look, don't tell me what people like for their holiday teas after 20 years in the business. Well, that were in Blackpool. Makes no never mind. Now, hurry up, they'll be arriving any minute. You'd see now Vera's face when I told her we'd finally got our little place in the country. Well, it's, uh, it's not all that special, love. Vera's always wanted a weekend cottage. Well, it's not exactly a cottage. Patty. No, 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 don't tell me. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Wait to see it. Hi, you all, and a mighty hearty welcome to our little old town of Apache Wells. I am your hostess, Isabel, and this is my daughter, Betty, who is eager to pleasure every one of you. <laughs> you have already met your host and my hobby, the famous Jesse, James. For many years, Marshal of the North Shore Gunslingers, Blackpool. <laughs> Bertram Holdroyd here, well known for his unique Western characterizations and spectacular stunts, is your creative consultant and head wrangler. Howdy. 
Well, there it is, love. What do you think? Thomas, is this one of your jokes? Well, you've got to see it from the inside to get the full picture. I've done it up just the way you'll like it. What's this, Madam Zizi? Well, each building is a replica of those in a real western town. And what function did Madam Zizi perform in the community? Ladies hairdresser. <laughs> It's a porch light. Come on, come and have a look inside. There's a voice in the country I told our Vera. kid what'll it be red eye <laughs> no red eye kid we haven't got a license yet i can do you a nice orange eye though <laughs> give me an orange eye then <laughs> ain't good enough jesse something wrong kid no straw. <laughs> it's not good enough, Cyril. Percy not getting me an horse. Well, back home in Chapel Pantomime, we threw a brown blanket over two of the choir and made Daisy the cow. Very effective. <laughs> I'm not riding two choir boys up the street. <laughs> Look, let's go over it. I come running out of the bank with you after me. Right. Then I run right uh, across... Sorry, Bert, but, uh... Who am I? What do you mean, who are you? Well, am I supposed to be the bank manager or uh, a security guard or a teller with a green shade over my eyes? No, you're just a concerned citizen. You don't need to dress up. The important thing is to, to kill me. you after the fourth shot. Exactly. But don't actually fire your gun this time. Oh? Well, blanks cost money. <laughs> Come on, let's try it. This place, Apache Wells, Supposed to be a western town, cowboys and all that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Of course, we'll keep an open mind till we get there. But I tell you now, no way are they getting me to recommend them for a license. Come on. When I fall off that roof, it's got to look good. Oh, I'm sure it will, Bert. Terrific. Oh, only if I feel secure. Everything's got to be checked and rechecked. That's the secret of stunt work. Remember, lad, don't let on you're new to this. Keep your mouth shut, your eyes open, and learn. <laughs> you're too close! Get back! <laughs> and exactly what is going on here? Sorry, mate. I've just robbed the bank. You've done what? <laughs> I mean, I've pretended to rob the bank. I, I, and Butch here is trying to kill me. Trying to kill you, is he? Well, I'm a concerned citizen, see? Not half as concerned as I am. <laughs> attempted robbery and attempted murder. All we're attempting is to practice a bit of what we're doing for the mayor. It's only pretend, Sergeant. Inspector. Inspector. <laughs> we're just playing a game. Right, then. Have a quiet loop round here, lad, before we go. No knowing what we may find. General store for cover. Sorry, Bert. <laughs> Is that better, Bert? All right. Carry on. My thongs come undone. <laughs> Just look at that. A fire exit with a cart right up against it. Get it moved. <laughs> Boy. 
Okay, Cyril, I'm now ready to continue. I've got a sign in. <laughs> Welcome to Apache Wells. Do you have a reservation? I'd hardly come all the way from Ormskirt without a reservation, <laughs> would I? If I may have your name, sir. Ackersley. <laughs> Eli Ackersley. Thank you, sir. I've just checked the details. Hope you a moment, Mr. Ackersley. They fully booked, you see. I booked a month ago. Just as well, then, isn't it? Yes, I have you here, Mr. Ackersley. From Ormskirk. One week arriving noon today. Oh, dear. It's only half past ten. <laughs> My lad was passing here early, so he gave me a lift. Oh, that was kind. Where was he going? To run. <laughs> he drives a juggernaut. If you'd like to sign here and state your full name and address, you'll be in bunkhouse number four, Mr. Ackersley, The Undertaker's. <laughs> As long as it's clean, it'll do. We pride ourselves on our standards, sir. I hope they match with mine. <laughs> Can the porter take my bag over? <laughs> I'm not the porter. What are you, then? Well, well, I'm the milkman, amongst the other things, and I'm very busy. <laughs> Tell me, the old man out on the veranda there, Name wouldn't be Henry Price, would it? Yeah, that's right. The fastest girl in the whole country. Do you know him, then? Him and me have got a long-standing appointment. It's lucky you arrived early. He's leaving on the noon train. Not before we've had words. I'll call him in. No. I don't want to spoil a surprise. I'm a calling young kid! <laughs> <laughs> you talking to me, stranger? Pardon? <laughs> I said, are you talking to me? If you are the Withenshaw kid, I'm talking to you and nobody else. You say you're from Withenshaw? I said, if you are the Withenshaw kid. Oh, yeah, that's my handle. What can I do for you? Hey? I said, what can I do for you? Oh, I'm a calling you, kid. Well, why would you want to do that, stranger? Don't recognize me, dear. Pardon? Well, I'll be horns woggled if it isn't Curly Ackersley. <laughs> it's been a long time, Curly. Outside in ten minutes. Outside where? Here. Here? Ah. Better make it five minutes. Why? Pardon? Why? <laughs> well, ain't no distance to walk. <laughs> right then. You'll be there? I'll be there. I'm ready when you are, Curly. What's that? I said I'm ready when you are, Curly. Aye. Well, I'm ready when you are, too. Get up now, Curly. The kid beat you fair and square. What's up? I listened to his heartbeat, took his pulse and checked his respiration. And? Well, if I remember my first aid correctly, there's only one thing it can be. What's that, lad? He's dead. Dead? <laughs> you all right, Bert? Just practicing a new stunt. And that's it? Of course not. It's the old Texas saddle leap. You can't do that. Nothing to it. Run along roof, drop into the saddle, and gallop off. Do you want any help? No, thanks. 
What if Thor's moves? <laughs> Would you like to hold it steady? Oh, I'm not very good with the horses. Oh, all right. I'll just do a trial run first, Tom. Hang on. <laughs> Ready. Everyone keep their eyes peeled. We might just have a spot of Indian trouble. Well, unless they're fond of individual fruit pies, they'll have slim pickings around this train. So you ain't a goner. I'm in peak condition. Don't you remember anything else? There's nothing else to remember. I changed and had a little lie down. Then I come back over here to pick a fight with the kid. Are you on tablets by any chance? Ah, how did you know? What are they for exactly? Well, I have, I have blackouts occasionally. Cataleptic, they call them. <laughs> ah, it's when I get a bit overexcited. That's why the doctor suggested I should come away for a nice, quiet holiday. Black Hills to the 
coast, it's the place that has the most.